Ego Eye Opener Excavating the Hidden Truth with Hosanna David Today Sunday I had a dream that made me cry a lot This dream is is so terrible it's so terrifying that it made me cry My name is Hosanna David I had a dream this morning and Please, it's a terrible dream. The judgment of God is coming upon the world so soon. Okay, let me try to share my dream. This early morning, about 3 a.m., the Lord woke me. About 3 a.m., I was awake. And the Lord told me that I should write some things that He wants to pass a message to women about their dressing in the revelation i was taken up to the sky and i was looking down from the sky i was seeing houses like like tents uh, buildings like tents and every each of them the the lord was showing me and it, it was like removing the canopy over the tent, removing the top, just like the roof, making it bare. And I was washing. After that moment, I was writing. As I was writing, sleep just came and I slept off. As I slept off, I had a dream. I, I, I came out of my house in those dreams it was night in the dream, but it was about midnight or about uh, three or so. I can't know exactly when, but it was the dead hours of the night. I came out and I had a little nephew called, I have a little nephew called Joshua. So I was washing his clothes, about three clothes. I was washing them outside that same night. And as I was washing them, I saw a neighbor who came out of our house. She was already out when I came out. She was already out. She was she and her daughter of about two, three years old were urinating outside. So I I saw them, they were urinating it's like it was like they never had toilet inside of the uh, apartment. So they came outside, there was a little gutter there and when I saw I didn't see the nakedness but when I saw what she was putting on I, I, I said in my heart that look at how women of today even handle their nakedness they no longer have respect for themselves how could somebody be urinating in this open place not even without any little respect for her nakedness so as I was washing, could remember I saw some people passing by the road, vehicles passing by in the night. As I was washing, the woman started lamenting and she was crying. So I asked her, what is the problem? Why are you crying? She said she just woke up from a dream and that the dream is so terrible. The Lord is coming, that the Lord is near. And she was just crying. And I told myself, uh, I, I should, why not I pick up my camera and cover the message so that people could hear it. But another, mind, another thought came into my mind that, oh, why would you video a woman at the middle of the night like this, midnight like this? If people see you, in, people see both of you in your house, what would they say? She is not your family member. She is not your wife. People may begin to say suspicious things. So I said, okay, maybe uh, tomorrow I, I, in, the, in the morning I will do the video and cover it. So I told her, please, can you just tell me? She was just crying. She couldn't even speak out. She was just crying and crying. She was just shedding tears. So, 
I, I didn't know whether I, I washed the clothes, I finished washing it or not. I came into my house and I was pondering over the dream the woman had and why she was crying so bitterly. So I came and I stood before a mirror. In the mirror, over the mirror, I, I saw my bed that I had so much bed and for days I hadn't shaved. Normally, in, in, a, in the real life, I shave all the time. I like to, I, I, I never like keeping my bed. So, but in the dream, I had so much beds, even my hair. So, and as I saw myself, I, I discovered that in the dream, I had white hair, white hair all over my face. And I was saying, but why am I having all this hair? I, I'm not so old, I'm just in my 30s. And I never knew I had all this hair, white hair all over me, my face. So I've been moving about with this white hair for some days now, and I never knew. I looked at my head, I also saw white hair over my head. And I said, oh, how, how could I just be, look so old like this? Though my face was still young, but the, the hair, the hairs were all over my face. And I, I, I was just wondering. But after this moment, I was thinking about the dream again. All of a sudden, I started crying. And I was saying that Jesus came to give us life. He came that we may have life. He brought another life to us after we lost our life, our, our true life in the Garden of Eden. He came and brought the life of God to us. But people have rejected this life that Jesus Christ brought to us. I started crying. And as I was crying, I was thinking about the judgment of God. That God is going to judge everyone that actually rejected his call. God is going to judge everyone that actually rejected this new way of life that Jesus Christ brought to us. Brethren, as I was waking up from the dream, I, the, the tears, the, the cry was shocking me. It was shocking me in, 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 a, in the sleep. And I woke up. I woke up to see tears in my eyes. The Lord is coming. He is coming. I remember Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye will see him, and they also wish pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. The Lord will come, and everyone will wail. The Bible says everyone will wail because of him. Why are they going to wail? It's because they we are never prepared for him. They are going to wail because they lived their lives in contrary to the will of God. Why are they going to wail? It's because they will wail because he is coming to judge the world. He is coming to judge humanity for all the evil they have done in the world. Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is not cooked stories. As I was waking up, I heard the voice of God telling me that Hosanna, make sure you share this message. Tell my people that I am coming soon. And the Lord told me that just the way you saw that woman outside. That is how women no longer care about the nakedness. A lot of women no longer care about what they put on, how they dress themselves up. I remember what the Lord asked me to write. The Lord told me, I will do a video on that and share it with the world because that is what the Lord actually told me. He said, Hosanna, write down what I'm going to tell you now concerning women. One of the things that the Lord told me that when I was writing is that, ask all of them that if they are Queens on earth, I mean queen, will they dress the way they dress now? 
Let me just explain to you. For instance, we have the Queen of England. Will the Queen of England put on a bomb shot and move and stroll along the road? That was a question Jesus was asking me. That if they had the queens in the world, would they dress like this? Now, tell them that they are kings and queens in my kingdom. I have redeemed them. Why are they dressing like prostitutes on the street? And they no longer care about my temple, my temple, my body, that my spirit lives where I dwell. Why are they profaning my house? Because of this, they will face my judgment. Because they never gave respect to my temple where I dwell. They never gave respect to me. The body that I have redeemed, they made it a body of prostitutes. The Lord also told me that just the way you were washing outside, it is time for everybody to wash your robes. It is time for everybody to make their robes clean in the blood of the Lamb. Because I am coming to come and judge the world. I am coming very soon. I am going to judge the world and I will judge the intent of the heart. I am going to judge both the things done in the secret and the things done in the open. I am going to judge the things that men clapped hands for. The things that men actually applauded, evil that men applauded, I am going to judge all of them. The Lord is coming to judge the world. He will come and he will not relent. His love is as dangerous as his anger. When people talk about the love of God, I just laughed at them and I told I, I tell them, you don't know who God is. Then the Bible says, in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 that it is appointed for men to die once and after that judgment and the judgment of God is going to be based on the law especially for those who never never give heed to the word of God God is coming from time to time the Lord has begin has been talking to me has been speaking to me about the judgment that is coming upon the children of men but it's like nobody is listening when you talk about the judgment of God. Nobody wants to hear. But I know that God is coming to judge the world. He is coming to judge the world. Just the way I was washing outside. Everybody should take their clothes outside and wash them in the blood of the Lamb because Jesus Christ is at hand. He is coming to judge this world. Even children, get, guide those children in the way of the Lord. Wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb. Even if they can't wash their robes themselves, mind what you expose your children to. The Lord is coming. Now the Lord is speaking to so many people, even prostitutes, the Lord is talking to them because the church is failing God. Those that the Lord had given the message to preach have turned to fables, have been pursuing money and pursuing fame. Now the Lord is raising up people to speak through different kind of people. But whenever they come up with your messages, the same church will stand on the pulpit and condemn everything they say. Because they have made themselves ready as weapons in the hands of the devil. I'm not saying there are no true prophets and no true pastors in our time. But majority of them are leading people into hell. And they will pay for every soul that they have led astray. They will pay. I know what the Lord is passing through. It's paining me in my heart. I have the burden in my heart. It's paining me. The Lord is going to judge all of them. And it will bring them to down, down to hell. He is going to pay them double for all the evil that they have done against the souls of men. They don't know how much it's so cost to God. The Lord also told me. He gave me an interpretation. That as you saw yourself. You saw white hairs all over your face. Your bed. Your head. The world is unduly ripe for harvest. If in your thirties. You could see bears, white hairs, all over your face like this and your head. That is how I am coming to harvest this world. Because evil is too much. If the days are not cut short, if the days are not shortened, there will be no man that will be saved. Even the very elect would be deceived. 
I am coming to judge the world. The days of the world will be reduced. Because evil is running faster than the plan I originally had for the world. Even if you are a Christian, I want to beg you. Forget about the type of holiness we practice in the church today. It is not better than a cultural holiness. Men of God are watering down the loss of God. They are just be because they want to make members. A lot of them are interested in the number of people that attend their churches. So they put add more water, dilute the words, the, the words of God and the laws of God. They dilute the commandments of God, dilute it and miss it very well. To the extent that nothing is left, there is no more standard again. Everybody is doing what they like. Anybody can just rise up and set up a ministry and start preaching what they take from hell. Many of them no longer, no, no longer think about the they, they no longer think about many of them no longer think about the judgment of God and is coming. They care nothing about standard again. All they care about is the money. All they care about is the number. All they care about is the fame. All they care about is the good things of the world. How are you living your life? If you do not change. You will join this false prophet and go to hell. If you do not change, I'm talking to you, a member of a church. Do not follow the standard that is being presented to you. Follow your Bible. Follow your Bible. The Lord is coming. Jesus is not happy. A lot of times we hear people who have a counter with Jesus Christ and they come and tell us that I saw the Lord. He is crying. He said he's not happy. Me, I have seen situations like that a lot of times. How are you living your life? How are you living your life? Are you... On your way to hellfire. It is not about once saved, always saved. That doctrine is demonic. That doctrine is demonic. A saint can't fall. I want us to pray. Are you rejecting your Savior? Are you rejecting Jesus Christ? Have you rejected the faith that was once committed to you? I have a scripture for you. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19. It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having them seal, the Lord Knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from evil. Don't be deceived. The foundation of God, the standard is sure. It does not change. Even if some men of God come around and try to change it, I tell you, it has nothing to do with the standard of God. The foundation of God is sure. It has just this seal. It has this inscription that let everyone who named the name of God depart from evil. You may be in the church, if you have not departed from evil, you are still a beggar. If you have not departed from evil, you are still a sinner. And no sinner will enter the kingdom of God. For nothing that defileth will by no means enter into it. How you live in your life? Do you want to renew your relationship with Christ? Let us pray. Live whatsoever thing you will do with now and let us pray. God is merciful while you are still alive. Let us pray and make a commitment once more. Father, I lift up your children to you as many that hears this message. I pray that you will touch them with your grace. The grace of God that appears to all men. That teaches us to run away from a godly lust. Lord, let that grace appear to your children today. May your word 
bring salvation to your people. May that grace that took me out of the world some years back, that same grace that keeps me, may that same grace appear to these your children. Father, please, let your judgment not come upon this world. Instead, the Lord, bring your grace to them. Draw them closer to yourself. Father, I know that your judgment is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Your judgment is coming so soon. The Lord has made that unto you. May you give them the grace to save you. There are lots of evils in the world. The pressure from the world is so high that people are abandoning the faith. Lord, these ones we never abandon their faith. Release your grace. Forgive their sin. And keep us by your mighty hand that is able to keep us away from falling so that when you shall come, we will not be among the people in the world who will wail because of your coming. But we will be among those who will rapture and glory in your own appearance. Because we will be turned into the likeness of the Holy One. If you want to give your life to Christ, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you now. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I surrender my evil ways. I make a commitment today to serve you. Please forgive me my sin. Wipe my name from that book of death, the book of eternal death in hell. And write my name in the book of life. Accept me as your daughter, accept me as your son. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Give me a new life to live. I don't want to reject the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary and the life that he brought to us. Lord, hear my prayer. From today, give me the strength to live the life of righteousness and holiness. Help me to follow what is right. Help me to depart from evil so that I can shine your light to the praise and glory of the name of the Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. I promise you, by the grace of God, I'm going to do a video of what God was revealing to me this night concerning the dressing of women. I'm going to do a video on it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ego Eye Opener. Ego Eye Opener. You can just subscribe and be updated. Thank you. God bless you. Don't forget to share this video. Make sure you share this video with the people and let people hear the gospel of Jesus Christ so that they can talk to God. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.